Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bow tie bikini top, also called the Maxine top from thebrightestcolor.com. So supplies, you're going to need your regular sewing supplies, pattern paper, fabric, elastic, and a swimsuit for reference. And I use two different types of elastic in this video. I use half inch as well as quarter inch elastic. And I'll be using two different fabrics. One, uh, the white's going to be the lining and then the pattern is going to be the outside. So I'm going to show you just kind of generally how I came up with the pattern. But this is a very, very rough drawing, so please excuse the messiness. Um, and I'm going to pull out the actual pattern I have made with a few adjustments. But this is just about how it's made. You measure the end of the bow to the end of the top and then kind of make a natural curve. So that's what the actual pattern looks like. Uh, for the back, I just traced the back as well. So first we're going to cut out the lining. So I'm going to cut two pieces of the front, one for each boob, left and right. And then I'm going to go and cut one piece of the back. If you were using all one fabric, say I was just using the white and making it a white bikini, um, you'd cut four pieces of the front. Okay, so now that we have our lining, we're going to cut the actual um, pattern that we're going to be using. And this time I'm just going to use the pieces I already cut just to make sure they're as precise as possible. I always mess up at this part, so um, if you're using a rotary cutter like I am, just make sure your blade is sharp, otherwise um, it can be really easy to get uneven cuts and make your life a lot harder. And also make sure that your lining pieces are facing opposite ways. See how the bow tie, one is facing towards the right, one is facing towards the left. And that's because you're going to want your pattern on the outside. And if you cut two that say the bow is on the left side, then they won't match up and just try it if you don't believe me and see what happens. <laughs> Cool, so next we're going to cut our straps. I ended up making mine a little bit too long, but basically make them, I'd say about six inches by one and a quarter inch. And I have this handy dandy tool. It's actually meant for quilting. I have it linked in the description as well as other sewing tools that I'm using in this video. So these are all of our pieces. Um, yeah, and you can kind of see how it's gonna be coming together. I'm super happy with this fabric, by the way, so I'll be sure to link it. It's like extremely high quality. I'm shocked. So let's get to sewing. So for the straps, we're gonna fold them in half, right sides together, and just serge along there. And now you're going to line up your lining as well as your print pieces. Match them up right sides together. And you're gonna be just sewing on those outside edges. So do the same with the lining. So just there. And again, I'm using my baby lock evolution. <laughs> my baby lock evolution serger. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me what sewing machine I have. I've commented this a couple times, but I'm so unhappy. Well, I love my serger, but I feel like I was kind of ripped off by the salesperson. So I have a couple. Uh, recommended sewing machines or sergers if you're looking so I'll be sure to include that in the description and maybe even put a video up about it so now we are going to attach our lining to the print so you're gonna match it up right sides together you're gonna sew along the bottom as well as all the other edges so you're sewing completely around so it should be one piece fully closed up and later on we're gonna like seam rip a little hole in there so we can turn it inside out and as for thread I'm using woolly nylon thread it is my absolute go-to um, if I don't have woolly nylon just why would I even bother sewing it's the best especially for tops where you have to stretch them a lot this thread does not break it's amazing 
So now you can see it's kind of coming together, but now we're going to put on our elastic. Elastic is great if you want to increase the quality. Um, so I use my quarter inch for the straps and you're just going to sew it on top and then I'm going to use my half inch for the top. So I'm going to put it along the bottom as well as along the breast pieces on both sides. And I stop just before I get to where the bow tie is because it makes the bow tie a little better for tying. And when you're sewing elastic, especially on those thin straps, try and keep the elastic as loose as possible. Um, that way it doesn't scrunch up and then your whole strap will be scrunched and so it could just be a disaster. I kind of even like push the elastic in a little bit, feed it in just a tiny bit just to make sure it's in good shape. So now moving on, we're doing the elastic on the top here. So I'm going across all of the bottom and then stopping just before I finish the end of the bow. And then starting before the end of the bow and doing the two breast pieces. And note that I'm not doing the back or the kind of shoulder area. You can. I think it's more comfortable not having elastic dig into me. So now I'm gonna turn my straps inside out. I'm using a strap turner for this. If you don't have a strap turner, you can use a safety pin. And I've showed that in a lot of other videos, so check those out. I'll link the strap turner as well. So now we're gonna get those straps inside. So I'm just cutting a hole where I'm gonna put the straps and you can either feed them in that way, which I try but then do it unsuccessfully, or you can cut your little hole in there. So I'm seam ripping just a tiny hole on the lining side. Make sure it is on the wrong side. And then I'm gonna feed my straps in. Using that same hole to feed my strap in both sides. And we're gonna keep using this hole to eventually turn it all the way inside out. So once you have your straps set, just sew along there. And I went over them twice just to make sure they were as secure as possible. Sometimes I'll even go and do a straight stitch with the sewing machine. Now I'm just gonna cut off all my loose edges and the final step here, or I guess the second to last, is gonna be inserting those straps into the back. So I'm gonna mark where I want my straps to go and I'm seam ripping a tiny little hole, just enough to fit the strap itself. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, make sure they're even. And you could say, well, Katie, why don't you do this in the beginning? Well, because sometimes it's easier to make sure it's the right length and um, making sure that like the straps aren't twisted and stuff. It's easier for me to do it this way, to go back and seam rip a hole instead of doing it all at once. But if you're good at that stuff, then by all means. So now I'm gonna measure how much I want the straps, how long I want them to be, and I'm gonna insert them into the holes that I marked. Now you could just top stitch them here and pretty much be done with that, but I'm actually gonna go into that hole that we have and reach inside, grab where the straps are, and then sew across there. So I'm gonna do that with both straps. And again, it's from the inside. The reason that I flipped it outside is so I can see if the straps are twisted or not. So just sew on both straps. And it looks like that, nice and seamless. So then of course the final step is going to be that hole that we left. You just need to sew that right up. I have been top stitching these since I make a lot of them and it's a lot quicker to top stitch. Um, I'll stretch it out like I'm showing and then just do a quick little top stitch with white thread. However, I know a lot of you like to hand stitch. And here we are. So again, this is the Maxine top from my shop, thebrightestcolor.com. It's one of the most popular sets, so I definitely would recommend checking it out. I also have a pattern for this available, so see the description if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, which will be soon, I promise. Bye-bye.
Thank you.